have to subtract 2 from both sides first. So I get x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. Now here's the deal. This is probably why y'all got lost, okay? When you have a quadratic, you have to label it. If you are not great <coughs> at memorizing stuff sometimes, label it. If you are at home and you have some chicken or something you put in the freezer, you got kids or whatever, you on a freezer bag, sometimes you put the date, right? That you bought the chicken or whatever. You write something on something, you label it, right? So in order for you to know what it is. So that's an imaginary one. You couldn't see it, but it's there. This is A, 2 is B, negative 2, not just 2, is C. Very important for you not to jack this up. Okay. I'll give it a different color. If you get this wrong, the whole problem's wrong. Okay? Now, the equation to figure this out, and there are some shortcuts for, to do all this, but y'all ain't ready yet. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna show y'all right away. So, <laughs> the quadratic equation <laughs> negative b plus or minus the square root of b, b squared minus <coughs> 4ac over 2a. That is the quadratic equation. And if you see, these letters correspond with this equation, don't they? A, B, C, A, B, C. Now I just need my projection to come through. Okay? Easy as one, two, three, right? So now, B is two. I plug in my values for my equation. So negative two, <coughs> excuse me, negative two plus or minus the square root of B is two. Whatever I plug in, I'm gonna put in parentheses, minus four A. Gosh, I should have did it like this. I should have matched what I had. Okay, so B is here. I'm trying to color code it. I'm trying to color code it so y'all see. Okay, blue four A is blue. So A is one, then C is orange. Uh, C is 